the swiftly drafted statutory instruments are meant to align the Political Parties and Organizations Act with measures set up to conduct political activities safely. Under Section 5, Clause 2, the instruments lay out the method political parties can use to hold internal meetings and elections without contravening the health guidelines. Under Section 10 of the Public Health Act, the parties can hold virtual meetings, resolutions by circulation, first day elections, secret ballot, open ballot, lining up behind candidates, and election by electoral college. But what the intent of the statutory instrument is to ensure that whatever is being done under COVID is done in accordance with the law. So we have provided the legal framework which addresses the situation we are in. And parties are free to use a combination of any of those, but they have to be guided so that what they are doing, it takes into account the safety of the people. Under Section 5, Clause 4, political party executives may have powers to extend the term of office of elected members of the party organs, where it is not practical to hold elections for membership of such organs as a result of the COVID-19 restrictions. However, the extension of their term shall be for a period not exceeding six months before the date of lifting the restrictions. But what the intent of the statutory instrument is to ensure that whatever is being done under COVID is done in accordance with the law. So we have provided the legal framework which addresses the situation we are in. And parties are free to use a combination of any of those, but they have to be guided so that what they are doing, it takes into account the safety of the people. The minister's move was in response to calls by parliament to explain the way forward. In turn, some political leaders claim such provisions contradict the national constitution. Now if you talk of uh, virtual meetings, especially in a country like Uganda, how many members of political parties own uh, tablets or phones that can access the recent one, recent uh, mode through Zoom and the like? They seek to extend the term of office of current bear, office bearers in political parties. But that cannot be undertaken without compromising the national constitution and the constitutions of the various political parties. So, especially Regulation 5 needs to be reconsidered. Ordinary regulations operationalize the constitution, but there are claims of unimplied intention by the minister to amend the constitution through regulations. But all this will be determined in one week's time before the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee. Herbert Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.